Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest information on various health topics. In today's video, we'll be discussing a sensitive yet important subject, hematospermia. If you're unfamiliar with this term, hematospermia refers to the presence of blood in semen, and it can be a cause of concern for many individuals. We'll explore its possible causes, when to seek medical attention, and potential treatment options. So, let's get started. Hematospermia is a condition that can be quite alarming when it occurs, but it's important to remember that in most cases, it's not a cause for major concern. The appearance of blood in semen can be temporary and self-limiting. However, it's always a good idea to seek medical advice to rule out any underlying health issues. The causes of hematospermia can vary, ranging from benign to more serious conditions. The commonest cause of hematospermia is raised blood pressure due to extreme exertion. This occurs usually in combination with blood thinners or antiplatelet medications especially in older men. Some of the other common causes of hematospermia include infections, such as prostatitis or epididymitis, which can lead to inflammation and the presence of blood in semen. Injuries or trauma to the genital area can also cause bleeding. Additionally, benign prostate conditions like benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, or prostate stones can contribute to hematospermia. Rarely, it can be a sign of more serious conditions like prostate cancer. If you experience hematospermia, it's important to understand when to seek medical attention. Generally, if the condition persists for more than a few episodes or if you have additional symptoms like pain during ejaculation, urinary difficulties, or blood in urine, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional. They can perform a thorough evaluation and determine the underlying cause of your symptoms. When you visit a doctor for hematospermia, they may ask about your medical history, conduct a physical examination, and order certain tests. These tests may include urine and blood tests including PSA, imaging studies like ultrasound or MRI, or even a prostate biopsy in some cases. Treatment for hematospermia depends on the underlying cause. If an infection is identified, antibiotics may be prescribed. In other cases, treatment may involve managing the underlying condition or addressing any injuries or inflammation present. Hematospermia, while often benign, can still cause anxiety and worry. Remember that it's important to consult a healthcare professional if you experience this condition, especially if it persists or is accompanied by additional symptoms. Early detection and appropriate treatment can help ensure your well-being. As always, if you have any concerns or questions, reach out to a healthcare professional who can provide personalized advice. We hope you found this video informative. Remember to consult a healthcare professional for any medical concerns. If you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, please leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay healthy and take care. Until next time.